Uh, to begin, I wanted to say thank you to everyone for joining us today to let you know that um, I am joining you from Weot territory uh, on the coast of California, Northern California in Humboldt County. And my name is Dr. Kutcher Risling Valdi. I am the Department Chair of Native American Studies. I'm also Hoopa Yurok and Karuk and enrolled in the Hoopa Valley Tribe. And the partnership that we've created this summer with Save California Salmon has been a really amazing opportunity for us to kind of help to uh, create educational um, things for people to engage in as we're in this very sort of uh, unprecedented time of COVID and, and things that are happening throughout the world. I think a time of great um, change and inspiration as well. And we want to acknowledge that the fights that people are continuing throughout the United States and different nations to be able to uphold black lives and to be able to say that we find connections across all of our communities to be able to protect our futures. I'm looking forward to kind of the things that these opportunities will create uh, in the future and the conversations that we're going to be able to have because we've been able to bring everyone together. Today, we are gonna take some time. We're gonna talk about the Eel River. Um, so the title of today's webinar is Bringing Salmon Home, Eel River Dam Removal. We have a number of panelists here with us today that I'm very excited to hear from. I wanted to do a very short, very quick um, introduction to the, to the Eel River, just a little bit more information. I'm sure people saw some of the things that we put out. I am going to share my screen so you can see a quick photo. Some of our speakers might be going over some of this information more in detail, but this is just to help everyone kind of get in the same page about the place that we're talking about today. So let me do that really quick. Um, okay, uh, this, this photo right here, or this picture right here shows you the Eel River watershed, which is where we're sort of placing ourselves today. Although we all uh, need to, as we kind of move forward with things that, you know, any watershed that we're talking about also affects the number of us that exist throughout uh, California and the nation. Waters are interconnected to each other. But when you're thinking about the Eel River watershed, you're looking at um, primarily uh, the southern part of Humboldt County, reaching all the way down into Lake County. It is the third largest watershed um, in California. And so we're looking at a number of interconnected rivers uh, that are also part of this system as well. So this is to help kind of orientate you to the space that we are in right now to kind of tell you a little bit about uh, what we're going to learn about. We have two um, tribes who have joined us today to talk about some of the things that they're working on with the Eel River. That includes uh, representatives from the Weot tribe and also the Round Valley tribe. I think that it gives us an opportunity to kind of see um, how these issues affect multiple uh, nations and groups of people. And then you also get to see how many different stakeholders are involved in uh, these major issues. And so when you're thinking about where we're at right now, this is where we are. Many of you I'm sure are joining us from Humboldt County and are readily familiar with the Eel River and how important it is and how beautiful it is and how central it is to our spaces and our peoples. Um, but for those of you who are joining us from further away, this is sort of the area that we are going to be in today and what we're going to be learning about. Um, to set some additional context, the Eel River is the third largest watershed entirely in California. It covers an area twice the size of Sonoma County. Uh, it is, it has both state and federal wild and scenic river des designations to protect the more than 350 miles of waterways from additional damming. Historically, the Eel River's fish population was said to have reached uh, over 1 million in good years but now averages about 2,000 steelhead, 1,000 Chinook and 500 coho salmon, close to a 99% reduction in numbers of fish on the Eel River. The history of the Eel River includes a decline due to canneries from the late 1800s, logging, which included unregulated, unregulated logging that swept through the watershed. It also caused massive amounts of erosion and floods and then deposited a lot of sediment in the riverbed, which adversely affected the river's fish population. There was then an introduction of uh, invasive species into the watershed. And if you look at the Eel River over the past 10 years, there have been some summers where the river has run dry. 
and where salmon and steelhead have faced uh, extinction events because of the state of the watershed. Water from the Eel River currently is diverted to Eastern Mendocino and Sonoma counties, where it supports a $34 million agricultural industry and supplies over 600,000 municipal water users. The 21% flow diverted from the Eel after PG&E's diversions is then further siphoned by things like illegal marijuana grows. So there's a number of issues that are pushing down on top of the Eel River right now. Um, when, uh, I think a couple of people today are gonna talk about the pg and &E's Potter Valley project. In 2018, PG&E announced that they were going to be putting the Potter Valley project, what they called up for bid, where any entity could bid to buy the project and operate the facility for hydropower or just for the benefits of diverting water to the Russian River or both. The Potter Valley project consists of two dams located on the Eel River uh, that divert water out of the watershed into the Russian River. The Cape Horn Dam was built in 1908 and is equipped with a fish ladder. The second dam is the Scott Dam, which was built in 1922 and creates Lake Pillsbury, the Lake Pillsbury Reservoir. The Scott Dam lacks any fish passage and prevents migrating uh, salmonoids and other species from accessing about 10% of the Eel River watershed. So today we're gonna hear from an, uh, a group who are able to speak to some of the larger issues that are happening on the Eel. We'll um, look at how the Eel is home to the Round Valley and Wiat tribes along with Sherwood Valley and Bear River Rancheria. It's a river where tribes and fishermen have not been able to fish for salmon for decades due to the dwindling salmon populations because of dams and diversions for white, for, to grow wine grapes on the Russian River. This has led to a lot of food insecurity issues in one of these, the most remote watersheds in California. The panel today is going to discuss efforts to take down the Eel River dams, to reduce diversions to the Potter Valley Irrigation Project on the Russian River. And we'll touch on the needs to control diversions for marijuana to restore flows for salmon and efforts to return land to tribes in Northern California. <laughs> 